Let's talk about this Casa Pan and Tilt camera recording. So I have an SD card here and the camera can record everything there. As you can see, I'm moving my hand here with the live image, but I can't record everything and I don't need to use the cloud if I don't want to, okay? So if I come here to the camera, you see that I can manage. And right here, I see the activity, right? When I click here, I can have something recorded into the cloud if I want to, if I want to have the subscription, or I can just click here and see what I have recorded into my SD card. So pretty simple. You see all the thumbnails here. That refers to things that I have recorded there by motion. When I click here, I go directly to the event, right? So it starts a little bit before the event. There you go. You see the event happening and it's there and I can't, just pinch and zoom like this so I see where I have detection, right? So light green like this, I have recording because I'm recording 24 seven. So it keeps recording all the time. And then when there is some motion in front of the camera, I see this dark green. Let me just move away here. There we go. You see that I have some detection there. Let me just move to the next one here. See, that's pretty close there. There's nothing yet because it's just reading the light green, right? Let me just move a little bit closer. There we go. And I see the motion there. And also see that it shows here that it's reading this part, okay? Just come to this one, for example. So I can, I can just come here directly, right? Or I can just navigate through the timeline. So pretty simple like this, you can pinch and zoom in and zoom out, and it works pretty fine, okay? To be able to use that way, just need to insert an SD card. I'm gonna show you where you can insert the SD card in a while, right? And here, you can go to settings, as long as you have the SD card there. You can have your camera name, of course, detection and sensitivity. And when you come here, you see that you can enable motion detection and person detection. Listen for sound, so detect sound and start recording as well, and even detect babe crying, right? I have just motion enabled here, and I can come and adjust the motion sensitivity, and also how long I have to have motion in front of the camera to detect as motion, as movement, right? So one second, for example, so something needs to move one second in front of the camera, so the camera consider this a movement and starts recording. And also you can select and add activity zones. And back here, the main thing that you have to do is just make sure that you have the SD card, then come here to save videos to SD card. See, 24 seven recording, it's on. So basically just come here, enable and have the storage available. This card is, is 32 gigabytes. It supports up to 256 gigabytes, right? You just come here, you format your SD card, and you just start recording everything according to the setup that you did here before, okay? And also here, you can have the activity zones. I have one there. You can just enable more of them if you want to. I just have the camera pointing to one location and I have just one viewpoint. So it's pretty good and it works like this, right? Okay, so pretty simple, guys. You can just enable here and start recording and basically to insert the SD card you come here I have the image freeze uh, froze here but here basically you just need to move this part up the lens up and here you see the SD card okay and just unplug the camera here so you see I'm not recording right now because when I'm I'm removing the SD card, I can damage the card if it's still recording. So I'm just unplugging here and just moving the card. So I press here, I can remove it. There we go. This is a 32 gigabyte SD card. So you just get one of this, put it here, and you're good to go. So it's pretty simple. That's the correct right position to insert. Just use your fingernail and put it here and you're good to go, okay? Connect your camera back and do the format on uh, the SD card and the setup. So pretty easy, okay? That's it. That way you can 
record everything on your Casa camera using the SD card. I hope this helps. Please leave your thumbs up, your comments here, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.